Hey guys, it's Just from Madden Crafts, and today we're going to talk about how smushing some paint around on paper can help you feel better. If you are already a crafter, you probably already know the benefits of creating on your mental health. You can look up tons of studies that corroborate what most crafters already know, that when you make something yourself, it helps you feel better. It can help relieve stress. It can help you feel happier, and it gives you something to occupy your mind if your mind is too busy worrying about things to really enjoy life. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use a really simple paint method to create homemade cards, gift tags, and gift bags. Because not only does crafting help you feel better when you're down, but one of the best ways I've found personally to make myself feel better when I'm feeling kind of crappy is to do something nice for someone else. And these three projects put those two techniques together. So first of all here, I'm showing you how to use this scrape painting technique on plain cardstock cards. I used pre-made cards that are already cut to size and folded, but you can use any cardstock that you have at home to do this technique. The paint colors will show up a little bit better on white cardstock, but you don't have to go out and buy anything special to do this. All you need are a few kinds of craft paint. This is a great way to use up the little bits that are left in any bottles you have in your craft room already. The cardstock for the card, and then an old gift card or old business cards or something that you can use as a scraper. If you have one of those little rubber scrapers that you use to get gunk off of pots and pans, you can use that and just wipe it off in between uses. Nothing here should be expensive. Nothing here should be stressful. That's going against the point of this whole project. So just put some paint dollops on a piece of cardstock and then use your used up gift card or your business card to swirl the paint around and really pay attention as the colors blend together Feel the way the paint feels underneath your hand and just play around. There's no way to do this wrong. You just mix the colors together and enjoy the results. This should be as stress-free as possible. Let the paint dry, fold the cards in half, and now you've got beautiful handmade cards that you can give to a friend. You can use this same process to make gift tags as well. Again, just add the paint to a piece of cardstock cut into the shape of a tag. You can even use just a rectangle of cardstock if that's what you have. I had these pre-made tags in my stash, but again, don't go out and buy anything new. You would use what you already have. You can make these really pretty organic shapes and it's a really fun, kind of messy process. One of my favorite things to do when I'm crafting is to get a little bit messy, and I'm a pretty messy crafter as it is, but there's just something that feels good about getting paint on my hands. I really enjoy it, and so this is a project that's right up my alley. After you let the first coat of paint dry, you can add glitter, you can add embellishments, you can do some hand lettering if you're good at that. Make the tag look however you want to, because this is about doing what you really enjoy and what makes you happy. This last idea is one that I sort of stole from my friend Amanda from the amazing blog Aunt Peaches. She took dollar store gift bags and tried out new painting techniques on the gift bags to make gift wrap that was entirely one of a kind and very special. I didn't have any dollar store gift bags in my stash, but I did have some brown paper lunch sacks, and that works just as well. You can use the same technique that I used on the cards and the tags on gift bags and on lunch sacks. If you are using brown paper bags like these, just remember that the paper itself is a bit thinner, so be very careful when you handle it so you don't rip it while the paint is still wet. Once the paint is dry, they're completely fine, but while the paper is wet, it's a bit more uh, easily terrible. Once all your DIY painted gift wrap is finished and dry, why don't you pack up a little homemade gift, 
or some cookies or some other nice treat and give it to a family member or friend or a stranger or anyone that you think could be cheered up by a gift, which, spoiler alert, is pretty much everyone. The process of making this gift wrap will be enjoyable and I hope will relieve a little bit of your everyday stress and I know that being kind to someone else will definitely make you feel better. So I hope you enjoyed these three projects and you have some time to do some crafting today to help relieve some of that everyday stress. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Visit me on my blog, maddencrafts.com, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!